everybody. We're going to be starting our live like now <laughs> with our vision board party. Here she is. Hey, C. Hey. It's New Year's. Might as well bust it open. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, guys. I don't know if you know this. Um, my name is Christian. I'm the designer and founder of the brand Christian Loren. This is Sierra. She's the designer and founder of her brand, Sierra Sims. We grew up together. We grew up across the street from each other in Philly. And we just both happened to pursue careers in fashion and design. And we just um, been friends since we've been 12 years old. So, you know, since like through our friendship, we always, um, we believed in manifestation, but we didn't know it was called manifestation back then. <laughs> but um, I would say within the last few years, Sierra and I like teamed up and we always throw our own vision board party. So this year I was just like, hey, see, we might as well do this on live. And, you know, just have a fun, have a party as New Year's Eve and just bring in the new year with good vibes and good energy, especially after the year we had. So yep. go ahead, see what you guys, do you have anything to add? Today, we're just going to like create these manifestation boards and give you guys some tips on um, how to do this effectively and get the most out of it. Tip number one. So tip number one is to set the mood. You know, um, set up your space however you like it with candles. It could be diffusers. Um, yeah, I got my candles in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Um, with music, you could have wine and snacks, whatever you like. Just like an atmosphere that feels positive for you um, so that you can bring positive vibes. This is my positive vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Just the stuff that y'all need in order to, like, start. So you can have, like, a bulletin board or a cork board. I got a phone board from the dollar store. Easy enough. Um, some glue sticks. Hi, the nine James. Scissors. Uh, I got some magazines here. Yeah. And then I also went on Pinterest and Google and printed out some extra images because you want to be really intentional. So certain things I couldn't find in the magazine. So I specifically searched them on the internet. Um, and yeah, that's all you really need. And like, just an open mind. Mine's like, I, I use a combination of everything what Sierra said. Like, I use magazines. I use Google and Pinterest. And I'm also really, really creative. Like, I put myself in the pictures I find. Like... Yeah. <laughs> That's me in my future studio. Um, I'm really, really into travel. That's what's also going on my board. Girl, uh, this is me in Sri Lanka, girl. Look, I'm so ready for Sri Lanka with my purse and everything. So I do all this. I'm going to share with you share with you everything I do on my vision boards. Don't judge me. If you want to tune in, this is a judge-free zone like Planet Fitness, okay? Do you want me to go into the next tip while we get started? Mm -hmm. All right, so um, one good thing to do when you're going into your vision board is to reflect on the current year. Um, just think about, you know, what is there for, um, what room do you have for improvement? Um, how can you take it to the next level? What went well during the year? Just kind of reflect on that, and that can give you, uh, I guess, a, a starting base for how to go forward with this. My personal life, I'll say what went well. Well, one goal was to cut down like debt like really aggressively. And I can say that I have made some progress with that, which is awesome. Um, another goal I had was to increase sales, which I did do that. Let's give her a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> um, I mean, I know, but I was there, okay? Okay. She was shooting with me in the gym, y'all. <laughs> um, yeah what about you Chris like all right so some of the things that I manifested that I want to share with you guys I'm typically very private I'm and really shy about the stuff that I put on my board but I'm willing to share with you guys because I think we all could win especially in 2021 you know mm -hmm. hey Jay baby um so I don't know if you guys follow me you guys know uh you better start with the picture of you in the center um I showed my collection at New York Fashion Week this last September. I say I, I manifested that about three years ago. I put this on my vision board. 
New York Fashion Week, Spring 2020 designers, Christian Loren. And I, I did that. I put that in my, my first, like, not my first vision board, but my first, like, one of the first ones I was really starting to get specific with. And then I got even more specific. I don't know if you guys know what the fashion calendar is, but I used to work at an a agency, model agency, and I, was, I just crossed off one of the other designers and put my name in there. If y'all can see it, it's right there. And it was so, it was almost spot on a date because I showed with HFR. And when Brandis emailed me, she uh, said, you was going to originally show on September 9th. I put it on September 8th. I thought that was crazy. That blew my mind. I was like, what? It came out? Oh, my God. And <laughs> but, you know, I didn't end up showing on the 8th or 9th. I think it ended up on the 13th this year or something like that. But either way, it came true. The only reason it got the 13th is because Corona out here, like, trying to crush dreams. So, yeah. but I'm just saying, like, when Sierra's saying you got to be really specific, I was so specific. I said, I want to show with, not just at Fashion Week, I want to show at New York Fashion Week for the season of 2020 at spring 2020 and I even picked a date I think that's how specific you have to be so this is how it started and then I went into how specific on what day I wanted to do I picked September 8th but that's how specific you got to be because from what I understand and I've been speaking to a lot of manifestors they said the universe want to give you what you want you just got to be tell them and be specific if you're not specific they'll get, they get confused and they'll just try to figure it out but the more specific you are, the better. And then another thing I manifested, as Sierra told you, we were roommates, <laughs> and we was li- we was living in Brooklyn, and we had this apartment that was trash. It was absolutely trash. <laughs> and we were trying to move into, like, a modern, updated luxury building. And I was just dreaming, y'all. This is what I did. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is me and my, like, up, like, dated modern building. And I even put, like, a building of, like, a new building in the area. And I just hung this on my wall for like, I think it was three months to six months. And because we knew we weren't really new, renewing the list. So I would just stare at this every day when I wake up and every day before I went to bed. And I was just like, I am not staying in this apartment. I want a new building. I want this and I want that. And I would just daydream, as I call it, but they call it visualizing. And let me tell you how God came through 10 times for better than this apartment we thought okay. we wanted to move in. Like, that apartment was everything. Elevator opens up into the unit. So I'm about the power elevator. The power elevator starts. Power (laughs) elevator open up in the apartment, private entrance. Like, it was everything. So that's how specific we got to get. Well, I have some images here that I came across. Actually, in Essence Magazine, there was, like, a spotlight on a designer, and she's in her workroom. I found that really inspiring. So... I'm going to do that picture and then I'm going to paste my, my face on the designer's face because <laughs> I had to put myself in it. Um, I think that's really effective. And that's a trick that Christian does all the time, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, people, my, like, my family used to laugh at me. They'd be like, girl, you crazy. But when stuff started coming true, they was like, you'll make me one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, right. Can I show you guys something? I'm sorry to interrupt. No problem. Yo, my life is so decent. Look. I went to Egypt. I went to Greece. <laughs> I'm in India. <laughs> okay. I'm all over Europe, dog. All over Europe. I just went to Burma. I'm saying mm-hmm. it because it's going to happen. Yeah. I'm wearing the same outfit, but it's cool. I'm in Rio. I'm in Machu Picchu. I'm going to tell you what I have. I have a I'm really... in Turkey. And my studio is... Look at my studio. I got a really dope, amazing team look. <laughs> I'm based in Brooklyn. You t- who is who is that? It's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's the girl with the long hair? Listen, I told you I'm going to paste my face over the person. Like you did with the Shanti jaw? Oh, I got to show you all the Shanti jaw. <laughs> This is me on a Shanti's body. Is, I don't know. That's just my ideal body type. And I just feel like that's realistic for me. So I pasted my face there, y'all. That's me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie because we were roommates. I walked in her room one day and I was like, yeah, girl. So make sure you tell Connor. Connor was our cat. Make sure you take Connor to the vet or whatever. And I'll happen to turn to my right. I was like, who is that? Like, <laughs> 
But I wasn't mad. I was like, yeah, she better like, you know, declare it. What are some things that you manifested in the past came out great or didn't come out great? Something I manifested last year, this this during this time and like early beginning of the year, I was like, I want to win a grant. I was like, I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm going to win a grant. And October, I won a grant through HFR, like, for my business. So thank you, God. Thank you, HFR. Thank you, Brandis and CFDA and Vogue for giving me that grant. Thank you so much. Yes. Well, for me, a good example was um, I had Yarsha on my board as a, uh, as a muse. I wanted to dress her. Um, but I didn't say through what channel. So I did end up <laughs> through work, <laughs> which is work great. where, uh, when I was at Vera Wang. So we, I helped produce a garment that was on her. Um, but I didn't do it for my brand and that's what I really want. So, um, I'm going to be specific, more specific this year. Um, and if I put a muse on here, it's going to be, you know, I don't know. She might be in our in my clothes or something. I'm thinking like so. I, I printed this picture of Yara, and yeah. I think later I'm gonna Photoshop my clothes on her. Is a great way to manifest that be in my clothes. The most recent one is I put on my vision board that I was gonna be showing at New York Fashion Week, September 2020, and that shit happened. Like <laughs> shout out to God and Brandon. Yeah. So I got um. I had a bunch of mass sales, <laughs> which was awesome. Um, but I really want to start selling the other merchandise. <laughs> so Dang. more work to do. Literally, like I put um I put on my board, so shipping out like minimum like 10, 15 packages a month. But I was selling masks. It was always it became like the smaller items versus like the normal ticket items, and I was like. Well, they, they did come true, but I need to be specific. Like this year, I'm putting apparel, specifically apparel with, with, with garments I want to ship out. One thing I want to say about like manifesting like sales orders, you should definitely be specific in like how many you put out a month. Like, say if you have like a money, that you, want, you should break it down into how many um, garments will it take to me? Uh, sorry. How many garments will it take for me to get to that revenue goal? Right. So based on that, it could be like, I don't know, 20 orders a month. Um, and that'll help you just be like really specific. And each day you can kind of check and see like, am I on my way to 20, 20 orders? This month? And if not, then you know you need to step it up and, you know, I don't know what you, you go live. <laughs> to help promote some more maybe you post a little bit more um one of the things that helped me with manifesting is uh my daily routine i i feel like they say the one of the rules is you gotta be show gratitude i have a gratitude journal i put every day i wake up and write three things i'm grat uh, grateful for um it could be as big as I'm, I'm i'm glad i woke up this morning to i'm glad i got a new wig like whatever it is like <laughs> <laughs> like it ranges in my uh my journal I will I, like I have entries from I'm glad I won the grant from HFR to I'm glad um, I found a new fabric uh, distributor. I'm glad I've worked found a new seamstress. I'm glad that um, it's sunny outside because the weather definitely affects me. Like I'm just I just show gratitude for every little thing because it, it also makes you reflect better on your life. And you don't take things for granted. So I do that. Um, I also script in the morning and I pray like those are my routines. I wake up. I pray, I write my gratitude journal, I script, and then I read my daily devotion book, and it just puts me in a good space. And when I'm scripting, sometimes I cry because, or I get teary-eyed because I'll be feeling like how I would feel if I got it, and I just be like, my life is going to be so decent. Mm -hmm. um, I tend to do it at night um, okay. before I go to sleep. I really want to get into the habit of doing it in the morning and at night so twice a day mm -hmm. yeah. um i just that was just recommended so i haven't got there yet but it is one of my goals um what else do i do i keep my vision board in a space where i'll see it every day um so don't do it in a vision board and then throw it in your closet you know have it somewhere where you're going to see it every day maybe somewhere where you see it when you first wake up 
Um, mine's is in my old slash studio, so while I'm working, I might look over, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I have my vision board right by my bed, so as soon as I wake up, I'm on my side, I'm like, oh, hey, we doing this, we got goals, what are we going to do today to be productive, so that's what I do, I have to see it every day. Since we are doing this as a vision board for our brand, I think this is another route you could go with this is like, um, I guess treating it as a mood board as well. So, like, um, things that your brand stands for, you could also include that on there. It's something that you want your brand to embody. Um, so, I'm going to try to include some things that I want to achieve with my brand. Um, like, one example is, like, giving back to the community. Um, yeah. To uh, contribute to other minority designers that are coming up. I want to be able to give back to organize. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to include that in this board somehow. <clears throat> I have that in my, I, I don't, I didn't put that on my board, but I have a whole thing I put in my script and journal volume one that I, <laughs> that I be uh, writing about. Cause I do want to give back. I think it's important. And I feel like if you, if you make it, you should help people make it as well. Cause it's enough room for everybody. One person can't be eating the rest starving. That's so that sucks. I ain't, I'm not about that life. Do you listen to any like manifestation podcasts or YouTube's and stuff that helps you with your <clears throat> uh, Not specifically manifestation um podcasts, but if you know any, send some my way. But I listen to like a lot of entrepreneurial sort of things and um just like I guess that is manifestation then. I just whisper. Speak on how to improve your life. Self improvement, basically. What's your board looking like? Show me your board. Oh, uh, so far, this is what I have. I have me. <laughs> I'm gonna this shut up, girl. <laughs> um, and then like my labels for my brand. It says "Money Loves Me." I have the I Fund Women logo, which is an organization that helps women find grants and stuff. Um. Right. Let me stand back. Can you, how much of this can you see? Am I, am I the, like? You can see it, but you can't really read what's on it. Uh, I mean, but you could uh, point to it. All right, cool. Well, this says, watch me work, because I know I got to put in that work. Um, take action, because I do feel like I need to take more action. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just be real scary, him imposter syndrome. Um, <laughs> That's real. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why I find myself out of stuff, but it's just like, I, I do know I have time, talent and abilities, but I don't know. You find a way to talk yourself out of stuff. But anyway. The devil. <laughs> yeah. Dead ass. It's the devil. He a hater. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to win. So I got <laughs> the studio. Um, This is going to be me. I'm going to put my face on here. I have. Let me see. Let me see the studio. Where is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a wise looking girl. Okay. It's a couple studios like Atelier picks here because I want to have a team. Okay. I really need a team, y'all, to make it go where it needs to go. Um, I have Text World, which is like a fabric trade show, because I really need to build up those fabric vendors. Um, yeah. I have serving communities. Um, I have a storefront, which I'm going to replace with my name right now, it says Chanel. But a storefront in Paris and on Rodeo Drive. Um, I want to work with some more, like, really cool photographers. I have one of them on there. Uh, it sounds like happiness, consistency, thrive, culture, design within reach because I want to make clothing that is more accessible but not cheap. I right. want it to be well made. Um, but I want more people to be able to access that kind of clothing. So working that out. Um thrive because i will thrive okay and i have so far i'm still going are you guys in the chat are you guys making a board as well put a one if you are put a two if no <laughs> well, put a two if you're going to but not no but you're going to yeah yeah that'd be good <laughs> she said no no <laughs> my board says hold on it's 
I don't know if, if you guys just joined, but I'm going to be traveling. I don't know how and when, but I'm going to Egypt. That is me. I'm going to Greece. That is me. I'm going to India. That is me. I will be in Rome. That is me. I will be all over Europe and shit. That is me. I'm going to Burma. I am Rio, whatever, blah, 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 blah. That's my studio. Money, I'm doing pop-up shops. I'm going to establish a direct-to-consumer strong customer base. Essence is selling all around the world. Started the YouTube channel. Going to be a million subscribers, blah, blah, blah. It's just things I'm still putting on and revising. And you asked me about podcasts. You got any recommendations that you listen to? Not necessarily podcasts. Um, um, I listen. I like to listen to this one uh, YouTube video. It's this. I think it's a, a YouTube that I listen to. It's like the same video over and over. It walks you through like every area of your life where you basically you envision your house or your home you want. You want. They talk about you opening the door, you taking off your shoes, looking at the ground, and then it goes into you walking around that house and what it looks like. You envision that. I really like it because it walks you through like envisioning each thing step by step. Uh, this is my script and journal. Volume one. I'm almost finished. I bought this like in the middle of the summer, and right now I'm right. I'm on this this much through the page, the book. <laughs> I done did all that. So I mean, I even include pictures. I do like I just write the scenarios I want. I gotta go print out a picture of a yacht. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, another thing I found like if you guys haven't, these are books that really got me into manifesting. Of course. Um, the Secret, I think that's what really kicked off my mind to be like transformed to actually consider it. Happy New Year! Happy and then this book, The Latin Factor. This oh. is so good. If you guys haven't read it, you should read it. It's an easy read and it really like transform the way you think about life and things you can achieve and things you can reach. So if you haven't gotten it, check this out. It's really, really beautiful. But these are the two books I feel like Really, 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 um, that I enjoyed the most. But the Aladdin Factor, I liked it more than The Secret. This is my devotional book I read every day. Every day it gives a, a scripture uh, dedicated to the day. And sometimes it be spot on, especially when I get discouraged um, on my journey of entrepreneur and being a designer. It be kind of through with just staying um, encouraged and actually continue on. So those three things, my script and journal, my devotional thing, and then my gratitude gratitude journal. After I write those, I normally feel better when I start my day. All right. You want to give another recap of the boards for the people that just rolled in? Like what we put on our board? Yeah. Well, I have my board divided into three sections, like personal, like travel. Okay. The center is the business because that's what I'm really, really focused on because this business is going to take me places for traveling. And then I got, like, it kind of spilled over to the whole right side of it. But, um... I'll show y'all again. So I always put myself in the scenes that I want to accomplish. I'm going to be in Egypt. I'm going to be in Sri Lanka. I'm going to Greece and see the apocalypse. Uh, I'm going to get verified on Instagram. India. I'm in the Coliseum. Okay. Um, Burma. I'm going to be all over Europe. That's me in Rio. Hi, Zora. And Machu Picchu. I really want to go here so, so bad. Um, this is my new work area space. That is me right there. Mm -hmm. That's also me in my studio. I'm the Essence Designer of the Year. I'm going to be on Forbes 40, under 40. Um, mm -hmm. I already just started a YouTube channel, so I'm going to get a million subscribers. So if y'all have not subscribed, please subscribe. A new video is coming right after this live. It's Opa. What's your and name? It, it's Christian Laurent. Okay. Right here. It's in the, the link is in the bio. And I'll be Christian Laurent International Sales constantly flowing in. And then this is something really personal for me. I'm about to share something that I don't only really tell everybody. I love Two Chains. He's gonna be my best friend forever. Like I love him so much, not romantically, but I just, <laughs> I just like think he's amazing as an artist, as an entrepreneur, as a black man. He does a lot for the community, especially in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and he has wicked style. Like he is amazing, and, and he's going. I'm gonna meet him. Like I'm telling y'all, when I put this shit on the on the gram, y'all be like, she said it. Well, all right, can you see? Uh, well, ask the people in the chat. Can y'all see her board? Because I can't keep running back and forth. Her, she don't want to keep running back and forth y'all okay so i have um a storefront which i'm going to replace the name to be my name um storefront in rodeo drive and paris um this magazine mm. i close the essence boom okay um 
more cells. We need those cells. Okay. Wait, what am I um, trying to do? Behind the scenes, that is the Text World uh, Fabric Trade Show. Then I have a studio. I have a team here and my okay. own. Okay. Uh, I have Yara Shahidi. The modern woman is who I want to dress and who I am. <laughs> Um, me. Hey, there she go. What up, girl? What up, you? There she go. Um, and then I, <laughs> <laughs> me at an HFR event. Yes, HFR. But I get the far runway because that's where I'm really trying to go. Um, <laughs> money loves me because it does. Um, some of my labels from my brand. Me in the center, designing the future. He the said, "Get in the screen for the screen kit." Get in the screen for a screen kit. What that mean? I'm new to live. Maybe he mean like get in the like that and show the board he want to see you. Maybe you better yeah. <laughs> <You're so good. laughs> like, <laughs> that's nice, fair. Yeah, you so do you. Um, and what else? Consistency, because I do feel like I need to be more consistent. I need to take more action. Like I feel like I'm kind of like easing my way, but I really need to step it up a notch. Um. Yeah. That's that Virgo in you. you be okay. Yes, black woman, because I'm winning. And <laughs> I fund women, which gives out grants to women. So I would love yes. to win one of those. Do you have anything else to say, C? Nope. That's it. Just, right. yeah. All Let's right. See. I hope all of you guys have a wonderful and happy new year, a productive one. Um, we saying bye bye to 2020, and okay. I want to thank you all for joining in. And that's it. Yeah, thank you guys for joining in. Thank you for spending this last hour with us and helping us manifest our dreams. Put good vibes out there. We'll put good vibes out for y'all. And um, stay blessed and happy New Year, everybody. All right, bye.